This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Welcome back to AM Northwest. The Latinx community has been hit hard by COVID-19, with an infection rate five times higher than non-Hispanics. They also face more barriers to important resources, especially for emotional and mental wellness. Here to share a unique partnership that, that can help, we welcome from Providence Community Health Division, Delfina Hernandez-Morales, along with Pacific University professor, Dr. Ruth Zuniga. Good morning to the two of you. And first, let me start with uh, Dr. Zuniga. Let me ask you this. How has COVID impacted the, the Latinx community in Oregon? First, thank you for inviting us today. And I want to say hi to our community that is watching us. So the question that you have, uh, Helen, for us about how COVID has in impacted the Latinx community, it has been rather difficult to, to witness because in every single sector from health, uh, wellness, from uh, job security, economic security, COVID continually dis disproportionately affecting the Latinx community. And as you mentioned, our Latinx community is highly uh, affected by COVID uh, currently more than any other community. Yeah. And these stressors have affected their mental health as well. Yeah, and mental health is really a big topic. You, you two partnered, partnered together before COVID, but now after COVID, it's even more important than ever before, right? So Delfina, tell me about how your partnership is working together now and what you do together. Yeah, so currently what we're working on is uh, delivering the emotional, um, having emotional uh, wellness uh, uh, topics about regarding what we call ch charlas comunitarias in the community with our volunteer community health workers, promotores de salud, and how that has been uh, really um, the promoters really recognize that the stresses, uh, just everything what Dr. Zuniga has mentioned has been a key reason why it has, why has passionately has moved them forward to continue on with their work to deliver this conversation with the community and uh, provide that platform to, to connect. So you have, you have live Facebook uh, platform that you, you work on mental health and emotional health, right? So exp explain a little bit more in detail how it works so that our viewers can understand a little better. So instead of having face-to-face -face get togethers to talk about mental health and physical health and all of that, these are now Facebook live events, right? Correct, these are Facebook live events and previously uh, we've had, uh, we've already uh, started working on bringing awareness about mental health uh, within the Latinx community with the, um, with the promotores, promotores de salud being the frontline uh, people of um, community members, uh, gathering people, promoting the information um, in the community. And right now, currently through, with COVID, we had to transition that to now deliver it in the uh, Facebook Live uh, community. Um, what it's so for communities to be, to join in into the conversation and still stay connected and uh, practice safe, uh, uh, COVID-19 safety. And the way, uh, one of the main, uh, the promotores and in, in, in how they support with is that they promoted and throughout their network of, you know, inviting friends, family, they really have gone broad, you know, uh, connecting community with community at a, at a broader level, including um, in, in South America and in Mexico as well, um, bringing in community from that uh, to be part of the, the conversation. So, so they're, they're on the Facebook Live event that, any, that anyone can listen to, listen in Correct. on, right? Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So it's open. It's uh, it, it goes. It's virtually. It's, it's delivered in the evening um, when people, when community um, are maybe you know more likely at home, and also just you know um, inviting their families to join in. So um, we have uh, we you know through this time we um, there you know more than two thousand people have uh, tuned in into the um, these virtual uh, live charlas that uh, that's been delivered and the promotores. Um, because has done a really amazing job at connecting communities and inviting community to join in. Okay, Dr. Zuniga, why is this so important? Why is this needed so much? Is there a stigma with getting help? 
So there is a lot of stigma in regards to mental health in general within communities of color and within the Latinx community even more. So a lot of times our communities don't talk about these topics or there is a lot of misinformation about these topics. Sometimes people don't know what is depression, they don't know what is anxiety. Some of our community members are really experiencing a firsthand and having firsthand experiences about a mental health issues, but either they don't know where to seek help or they don't, a, understand or know that they are experiencing a mental health concern. So the original idea of our charlas with the promotores teaming up with Pacific University graduate students in, in psychology was to bring these conversations to the community to start just creating some awareness and, and just to have basic conversations about these issues. In addition, we wanted to bring a hands-on skills so they can practice in their everyday living and the third object, object, uh, object of this or, or objective of this, and we continue doing it through the Facebook Lives, is to try to help the community, to encourage them and empower them to seek out help. The promotores uh, de salud, because as Delfina was saying, they have an amazing credibility within the, yeah. the community. They have been able to, to help us. A helping the community a reach out to services. Yeah, it's an incredible partnership. We're going to put more information on our website at katu.com. Um, thank you both so much, Delfina and Dr. Zuniga. Thank you both. Thank you for having us. Thank we'll you be, for having us. You bet. We'll be right back with more Animal Quest on the way.